You know, Pippin, you have a lot of Switch games over there. But what if you didn't? And that's what we're talking about today, guys. So the Switch is an awesome system. It's pretty powerful for what it is for a handheld, but one thing that's really great about it is this generation of consoles, Switch specifically, there's a lot of compilation games. So without further ado, let's jump into some of those. So compilation games are nothing new to the console world. In fact, uh, you know, they go as far back to my knowledge as the Super Nintendo with Mario All-Stars. Or my personal favorite probably compilation disc of all time, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, this happens to be the Xbox version. But I love this because it had some cool bonus games with the Mega Man Power Fighters 1 and 2 on it. Now, why would you want a compilation disc for games that are old or, or maybe you already have them on other systems? Well, there's three major reasons. One, convenience. It's really great to have all these games in one place where you can just play and enjoy them. Two, the value. I mean, you know, back in the day, these games were $60 each, and now you can buy a whole set of them for sometimes the bargain price of 40 or less, depending on, you know, when you pick it up. And then, of course, there's also the nostalgia factor, right? I mean, I love Mega Man, but do I want to dust off my NES every time I want to play Mega Man 5, or do I want to just pop it in the Switch? And the Switch does this very, very well. There are a lot of compilation games, and uh, I have a lot of them in physical copies, and uh, so let's go through some of these games and see what's worth your time and what's worth your dime. First thing I want to do is give some honorable mentions for games I don't personally own on the Switch, but they are on the Switch, and that is the Genesis Classics Collection, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, which is really cool because it actually has like all of the good Street Fighter games in my opinion. One game I really do want to highlight though is this Genesis Classics Collection. It has this awesome nostalgia vibe when you're in like the hub world, and it has 50 games. This is like a very good deal. I believe as of recording this video, it's only 30 bucks. Definitely worth picking up. One other thing I really want to kind of give a shout out to, and this is kind of cheating, is the Nintendo and Super Nintendo Online features uh, that come with the Switch. They have a ton of games you can play from those eras with rewind features and multiplayer, even online multiplayer. I'm also going to cheat a little bit here and recommend that you buy the physical copy of Tetris 99. I say this because this is a free game, but... Um, to to get the extra modes, which I'm a huge Tetris fan, so I instantly wanted to get the extra modes. To get the extra modes, you have to buy the version of it. Now, if you buy the physical copy, it's 30 bucks, and it comes with a full year of Nintendo Online, so you get the NES and Super NES Online features basically for free for a year. So that's just my two cents, but let's just get into the compilations. I want to start us off with a collection of RPG collections. Uh, we have the collection of Mana Set, we have the Langracer 1 and 2 set, and of course we have uh, the Dragon Quest set that's 1, 2, and 3, and the Final Fantasy 7 and 8 2 pack. Now the Dragon Quest and the Final Fantasy sets are going to scratch that itch for your turn-based RPGs. Um, I'm actually currently playing through 7. One thing to note is on the twin pack, the physical copy, 7 is the only game on the cartridge. You still have to download 8 Remastered. Another thing I really want to point out, and I said it in my review of it, the Dragon Quest set is pretty cool if you like the iOS ports. If you do not like that art style, um, you are definitely not going to want to buy that set. Um, it is convenient though, because like I said, you get 1, 2, and 3, which is really cool. But out of the two, my favorite has to be the Final Fantasy VII Twin Pack. Now the collection of mana is a no-brainer. If you're into action RPGs from the SNES era or Game Boy with the first one, you definitely need to check into this one. The Trials of Mana remake is fantastic, but this game has the only official Nintendo released version of that third game with uh, English patch. Um, it's a great game, really good to take on the go. If you're a Super Nintendo fan, definitely a must own. Um, I did a review on it, it's fantastic. So I did do an unboxing and review for Langracer 1 and 2. I really, really enjoyed everything that came in this set. Um, but just me personally, I said this in the review as well, this is a strategy RPG set. I just happen to not be a big fan of strategy RPGs. Um, if this is something you're into though, if you love strategy RPGs, this is a fantastic set. 
Um, the box set itself is really cool, but you can also get it uh, game only. It is out there in the wild. And of course, all the games I show uh, here and later in the video are available on the Nintendo eShop. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll probably remember when I did the review uh, with my buddy Jay of the Psycho Shooting Stars Alpha and Bravo sets. Um, they are, these are shooter compilations. Uh, once again, uh, these are the collector's editions. I did full unboxings and everything. You can definitely check out my old videos. But there are some really cool standout games on these. Uh, if you're more into the like classic arcade plane shooters, you definitely want to go alpha. But if you're into like the weird kind of wacky shooters, just kind of strange out there stuff, you definitely want to check out Bravo. Once again, I actually reviewed every single game on both of these uh, with my buddy Jay. So check out those videos. But uh, you know, these are some really great sets to have. And you don't have to have the collector's condition to enjoy them. Uh, they have standalone uh, games that you can get, and of course, once again, available on the eShop. Keeping with the arcade feel, these are two sets that are fantastic. Uh, the Capcom Belt Action set, once again, I did an unboxing and a review of that. Uh, here in America, it's actually the Capcom Beat 'em Ups bundle, but they did not have a physical release here in America. So if you do want a physical copy, you do have to import it. However, once again, on the eShop, so very convenient. And the other one I wanted to point out here is the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. This has all these awesome arcade version of SNK games. Um, it is a fantastic buy. There's a lot of stuff on here. And another cool thing with this SNK version is if you're stuck on a boss or a level, they actually have full perfect playthrough videos on the game itself. So it's really cool if you're getting stuck on something and want to uh, kind of see how to play it. And it's a great collection to enjoy. Now I know we discussed the Street Fighter collection, uh, which I happen to have on Xbox. It is on Switch, but another fighting game collection that a lot of people kind of didn't know slipped through the cracks is the Guilty Gear 20th Anniversary. Uh, it's kind of cool. It comes with two versions of Guilty Gear, the original basic, basic, basic version, and then like the most up-to-date version of the original Guilty Gear, like the double X, Xerd, crazy double X version. Um, with all the characters of the original Guilty Gear. It's a great pickup, and it's actually a budget title, so you can pick it up pretty cheap if you're a fighting game fan or love the Guilty Gear series. This is definitely something you need to keep your eye out for. Um, I do think they are doing an American release of this. Uh, currently, obviously, this one is the import version, but um, definitely worth picking up if you're a big fighting game fan. So I kind of wanted to put in some games that are better for the younger audience here. Um, this one, of course, would be the Harry Potter uh, Lego Collection, which this game you can definitely pick up for 20 bucks. And if we're talking bang for your buck, uh, I mean, there are eight games on this set. It is amazing what all you get. And then, of course, I have the Aladdin Lion King um, remake pack, which was basically the Sega versions and the Game Boy versions of the games. Um, I put them in this kind of part because, you know, we're talking games for kids. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, as far as difficulty is concerned, uh, this probably is not a very good game for kids. It is extremely hard. But it's really cool that they re-released these as well for the Switch. So both these games are great compilations, something for the younger crowd, something you can definitely enjoy, maybe even uh, enjoying some nostalgia with your young ones if you're playing Lion King. Watch them try to get to that monkey maze. But um, the LEGO Harry Potter game is, is, a, is a great set to have, especially because it is cooperative and it has the whole story from beginning to end. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the Hotline Miami collection, which is basically Hotline Miami 1 and 2. Uh, this game is like a top-down, very viscerally violent Grand Theft Auto style game. Um, very fun, very cool, and also, like I say, you get both games, so it's really cool to be able to experience the whole story thus far. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great set. Uh, the physical copy is going to be a little harder to find because it's only made by limited print companies. But that being said, as always, you can get these on the eShop to enjoy them for yourself. And I do believe this one comes at a pretty reasonable price. Now, I had to save the best for last. I am a huge, huge Mega Man fan. Uh, actually, I did a specific unboxing video for this set you're seeing right here. Um, but this is the Mega Man, basically all of the collections box set that I imported from Japan. Um, the one downside with the Switch versions in America is pretty much half of the games you got were download codes. If you got the Mega Man uh, Anniversary Collection, the second one was a download code. If you got the Mega Man X Anniversary Collection, the second one was a download code. 
Um, so the box set that I imported, which I have an unboxing of, you should definitely check it out. It has all of the games, Mega Man Collection, Mega Man Collection 2, X Collection, X Collection 2, and Mega Man 11, which was out at the time. All of them have their own cartridge. All the games are on the cartridges themselves. And then of course I had to include the ZX and Z uh, Meg, uh, Zero Collection. Uh, that came out after this, so it's not part of the box set, but this is another fantastic compilation. Uh, like I said, huge Mega Man fan. You get a lot of bang with your buck for these games. The only downside is there are some notable omissions. Now, earlier in the video I talked about how I really love that Mega Man Anniversary Collection from the 10 year anniversary. I love that because it came with the Power Fighters 1 and 2 kind of hidden in it. Uh, the Mega Man X collection from the same time period had a very similar thing where you could actually get um, the Mega Man Battle and Chase minigame which was really cool. Um, I really wish they included those in here, especially because there's a bunch of games that they could have included that weren't even in those. For instance, in the original Mega Man collections, uh, you know, 1 and 2, I would have loved if they had put in Mega Man and Base. Or, um, you know, it's just things like that. It's it's hard to say why they didn't do it. You know, maybe the Mega Man X collection, I would have loved for them to put in Command Mission, which is the uh, the RPG. But, um, you know, it's still nice to be able to play all these games on the go and on the Switch. And uh, there are a lot of really great, cool extras in these games as far as soundtracks and easier difficulty modes. The original one had Rewind feature, which was really nice. So this is a really great set to get. Um, personally, I'm gonna all day long say find a way to import this box because I need to have them all physically. But, uh, you know, really get these any way you can. Um, there's Capcom sales all the time. Typically, you can get all of these as a collection of collections during the Capcom sales for relatively cheap. So just kind of keep your eyes out. But um, once again, these are the compilation games that I have and uh, the ones that I really enjoy. I know there are some that I don't have uh, that I didn't talk about. So if you guys have any cool compilation games for the Switch that maybe I don't have or I haven't heard of, you know, drop it in the comments below because I'm really interested to know what kind of other stuff I may be missing out on. So that's all the compilation games that I have for the Switch. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys to see if there's anything I missed or maybe something that I, you know, I need to pick up that I don't know about. And hopefully I persuaded some of you guys to, uh, to get some of these cool games that maybe you didn't know about. Um, that being said, it's been awesome making this video. I'm glad that I could share all these different compilation games with you. And uh, hopefully maybe uh, you pick some of these up and save a little bit of cash. That's gonna do it for us today, guys. Hey, once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. You know, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We're getting closer and closer to 3,000. And uh, leave a thumbs up or thumbs down if you feel any kind of way. And as always, take it easy.